If you've been wanting to build a dread mob and save some teeth in the process, then you are going to love this. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Hey, hey guys, Six Plus Stevo here with some very exciting apocalypse news for you. Um, now, I know a lot of other channels have previously covered this. Um, I've been incredibly busy lately, so I haven't had the chance to really get in and cover this stuff news as it was breaking. Um, but I had to come on and share my thoughts and share some of what's going on with you guys and uh, just give you my take on it. Um, so yes, uh, Apocalypse has been announced. It's coming out very soon. Pre-orders are going live on the 29th of June, uh, otherwise known as Warhammer Day. And uh, yeah, th this, this is a whole new game. Um, the, it's not just an expansion to 40k as it's been in the past. Um, much like Kill Team in how that took 40k games, um, down to a sort of skirmish level and uh, produced its own set of rules and things. Um, this is doing the same for large scale games. And essentially what they're saying in the Warhammer Community Site articles is that this game will enable us as players to play these huge epic scale games of 40k in a much shorter time frame than has ever been previously possible um, in previous editions of the game. And uh, yeah, like I say, this is a, a whole new game. Um, it's uh, not just an expansion. It comes with its own set of rules. Um, and uh, it even uses uh, D12 dice, um, which is a first for um, Games Workshop, as far as I'm aware. Um, or certainly, it's a first for um, 40K. Um, and... Uh, it comes with its own range of cards and accessories and things alongside the game itself. Um, so yeah, this game comes in a uh, box. Um, we're getting cards, we're getting um, new dice. The dice look really cool. I really like the look of these dice actually. They, um, yeah, I'm, I'm liking these. Um, and from what I can see in the set, you get a lot of them as well, which I imagine is going to be very important. Um, also in the box game, as well as um, dice and cards and rules, um, we're getting tokens. Um, not a huge fan of tokens, but I imagine they're, they're going to be required. You know, in these large scales, going to be a lot to keep track of. So yeah, it's there's there's a lot of changes to regular 40k for these apocalypse games, and it, it's looking. Let's just say it's looking interesting at the moment. Interesting. Whether or not this is going to be really good remains to be seen. But it, it's certainly, it's got me interested. Um, but along with the game and all the cards and accessories and things itself, we've got some really exciting stuff coming. We have movement trays. Um, movement trays have been doing the rounds in the wargaming community for a long, long time now. But um, Games Workshop have never really done them themselves before. And uh, yeah, so we've got uh, movement trays coming in a range of sizes. So we've got uh, movement trays for 25mm, 32mm and 40mm bases. So pretty much covers every type of uh, unit you can think of. So that's very cool. And I think these are going to be really useful, not just for Games of Apocalypse, which is obviously a primary purpose, but also anyone playing regular 40k um, who has horde armies. So us all players, if we're running Green Tide, these are going to be very useful indeed. Um, Tyranid players, Imperial Guard players, um, a lot of players I think are going to uh, like these. And uh, yeah, they look very interesting. They're sort of in a clear sort of perspex uh, plastic. Um, so yeah, I, I, I like the look of them. They, they look very cool. Um, but the probably the most the most exciting thing to coincide with the release of Apocalypse itself is the Apocalypse detachment boxes. Um, there's ten of these coming out, ten different factions, and uh, obviously on this channel, the one we're most excited about is the Orc Spearhead detachment, which is a dread mob in a box. Um, what's not to like about that? So in this box, we're getting uh, two Death Dreads. Six killer cans, a big mech with shock attack gun, and a regular mech. And uh, yeah, this this is a cracking set. Um, I I think I'm going to be getting this set. To be honest, I think I am. I've got already three death dreads and six cans, but 
um, I'm building up a dread mob. You you can never have enough cans. Um, and th this 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 looks like an awesome awesome set. Dread mob in a box. What is not to like? Um, but some other, otherwise really exciting news that has come out is some price leaks. Um, they'll be appearing on the screen right now. Um, special thanks to Skarner for sending these to me. Um, these have been doing the rounds on various uh, forums and Facebook groups now. And these seem pretty genuine to me. The prices seem about right. Um, and we can see from these prices that all the contents of the boxes and all the different releases that are coincide with this have all got their prices listed. Um, the Apocalypse game itself is going to be £60. Um, which seems about right. It's, it's, it's fairly pricey, but I think you're getting a lot of stuff in that box. Um, there's a huge amount of cards. Um, these asset cards you get in the dice, the tokens, the rules themselves. Um, it, yeah, so £60 for that. Movement trays, they're coming in at £25. Um, I think you get a fair few movement trays, depending on which size ones you get. Um, you get quite a few in the boxes. Um, I think they're going to be big, big, big sellers. Um, and then the detachment boxes themselves, £100. Um, take a look for yourselves for your own on the screenshots for your own uh, currency if you're not in the UK. But yeah, £100 is an absolute bargain. Now bear in mind, these will be limited edition um, as they've done in the past with these sort of £100 sets, which just have insane value um, so insane that they don't want to sell them for very long uh, they want to get in make a quick buck and get out um, so these are going to be up for pre-order I think they're going to sell out very 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 quickly and uh, sure enough I'm, I'm sure we're going to get a few scalpers and stuff buying these up selling them a little while later once they're out of stock for inflated prices wouldn't surprise me um, that sort of thing always happens but let's just take a look at this orc spearhead detachment though and what you get in there um, so you're getting two Death Dreads. Um, they're coming in at Games Workshop for £31 each. Um, you're getting two boxes of Killer Cans, which come in at £28 each. You're getting that Mech, um, that's £13. And then the big Mech with Shock Attack Gun, he comes in currently on GW's website at £22.50. Adding all that together, the contents of this box... Um, has a retail price of £153.50. Um, so you're saving £53.50 on this set. That, that's huge, huge savings. Um, and yeah, the, the, I, I just think this is... I wasn't intending to get more Def Treads and cans, but uh, come on, look, at this price... Um, they're, they're really just forcing us to empty our wallets, aren't they? And I'm sure all the other sets, you know, different factions have equally good value. Some of them will be slightly better, some of them slightly worse, I'm sure. Um, they all look good in their own you know, respects. There's a cool one for the um, Imperial Guard, Astra Militarum, um, that comes with four tanks. Um, myself and Skarner were discussing the looting potential of boxes like that. Um, you know, Speed Freak players and stuff, you may want to look to that to, uh, yeah, a good way to get a load of tanks on the cheap and uh, loot. But yeah, um, I've seen some people discussing that this um, uh, Orc detachment would have been better with just loads and loads of boys. Mm, I, I disagree. I think, uh, I think a Dread Mob set is great. It's great that they're really promoting this. Um, hopefully Dread Mobs will be a really good, viable option within um, Apocalypse itself. Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to share these price leaks with you primarily, um, and just a little bit of the news. I know it's a very quick video, just an overview of all of this stuff. Um, go onto the Warhammer community site. I'll pop a link in the description. Get yourselves over there, read all this stuff for yourselves. Um, there's, there's so much information there and um, they're going to be updating that daily with new bits of information, new faction um, focus articles and stuff. At the time of filming this currently is just a faction focus on the Space Marines, but all the other factions are set to follow. It's looking really, really, really exciting stuff. And um, stay tuned to the channel because very soon myself and Skarner will be doing a, a full episode of Two Bald Knobs, um, which we will go over everything that's been announced and discussed and we will talk about it in great detail and share with you all the news regarding this um, but yeah anyone 
who's into apocalypse and big games this is a really really exciting time for you guys um yeah and uh share in the comments below guys are you going to be buying this are you going to be getting into apocalypse do you play it um what do you think about these price leaks um do you think you know these are good competitive prices i certainly do and are you going to be buying the orc spearhead detachment i think i'm gonna have to it's just it's just oh, that price is just too good to pass up and uh you can never have enough cans can you you can you just can't um but yeah guys uh thank you very much for watching i will see you very soon on the next video thanks guys Six Plus Stevo, signing out.